Are athletic wear stocks all worn out? Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Susan Lee. Craig Johnson, Senior Technical Research Analyst with Piper Jaffray, and Eddie Elfenbein, who writes the Crossing Wall Street blog. Now, Craig, you're not too bullish on Under Armour or Nike. What happened to athleisure? Well, this is a group that's been struggling for a while. In fact, both of these stocks look like uh, they've been put in the penalty box for a while. Uh, Under Armour looks like it's uh, got a 10-minute major, and uh, Nike looks like it's a two-minute minor penalty at this point in time. But if we start out with the chart of Nike, you can see that this stock has been making a series of lower lows and lower highs for a while, and it's now <coughs> going to take a close above $55 to reverse the price downtrend in those shares before I'm going to get more interested in, in that particular stock. Mm -hmm. uh, the stock of Under Armour is a little more challenging. We've seen a very big gap down. They've missed a quarter, and uh, the stock looks like it may be due for a bit of a relief rally. But again, you're still trying to trade a stock that's in a pretty well-defined downtrend. I see the best ultimate support on this stock at about $16. Look for the stock to go higher first, but ultimately retest that $16, and that's where I'd get more interested at uh, trying to take a long position in that stock. Yeah, well, Eddie, I thought these stocks could do no wrong just in the uh, past 12 months before the recent earnings. Yeah, well, I think that's sort of the problem. I have to agree with uh, with uh, uh, Craig that uh, these both stocks are not in a good way right now. Now, the problem with Under Armour is far more acute. And as you said, they had 26 straight quarters of delivering revenue growth over 20 percent. And then they tried to broaden out. I don't think they know exactly what kind of company they are because they're trying to be more than they've been, and it hasn't been working. I saw the CEO said they're like Tom Brady. People counted Tom Brady out, but still, I need to to see a lot more from <laughs> Under Armour before I'm willing to go uh, in. Nike, it's an interesting situation because it's just more of a downshifting of growth. Again, you saw this constantly. You could always rely on Nike to deliver solid earnings growth, solid revenue growth, but it's just not a company with a, a 30 PE anymore. They're shifting down to, you know, growth rate of the high single digits around that area. So I think I think it's uh, we're going to see more uh, downtrend in that stock. Right. But unlike Under Armour, I think Nike will be a buy again. Okay, so, but what about the import taxes that are being threatened under the Trump administration or the border adjustment tax, whatever you want to call it? Doesn't that impact uh, retailers like Nike, like Under Armour? Yeah, I think it, it hurts uh, both of them uh, very severely. I think uh, Nike, again, uh, less severely, but with, uh, with Under Armour, I think that the problem is much more acute. Okay, well, Craig, what do you think? Quickly. Well, I think from, from my perspective, if we see some of these border tax and even repatriation of some dollars, you got a mixed set of headwinds there. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I do think that Nike on a repatriation of dollars will see a meaningful leg higher because they do have a, quite a bit of dollars uh, offshore. Okay, Craig and Eddie, thank you again. And thank you so much for joining us on Trading Nation. I'm Susan Lee. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.